temporary because I only just got this installed. Mm -hmm. We always tend to wait before we're ready to do something, you know, for the right moment, for things to be perfect. So if you wanted to become a musician or and you wanted to start performing, you can practice and get to a really good level of ability, or you can literally go out there and just like try. The genre itself is fingerstyle guitar, and initially I was playing instrumental music. But the style that people have known me for is fingerstyle guitar. And with that, there's you can incorporate different genres. I started when I was 16, so and now I'm 26. Makes up 10 years. Well, back in primary school, I was intrigued by guitar. There's a lot of fellow students playing, and I never owned a guitar. And back then I was an athlete. I wanted to try, so I, I um, did initially have a go at it, but it never was something I pursued. I just fiddled around and I actually held the guitar the wrong way around. And then when I was 16, that's when I got given a guitar for my birthday. And then since then I was, I would just be fiddling around, experimenting, learning songs. Eventually started writing my own music and then here I am today. Then one day I decided I wanted to try and incorporate cajon and guitar together, play the two instruments at the same time. Use the cajon with my right hand. I can use my right hand with my left hand guitar. So. It looks more fancy than it is. It's like it does take a lot of uh, practice to do, but if I didn't have the cajon and I'm playing it, I'm doing what I would do on the body of the guitar, the percussion, just in a different way. So it's not much different, it just looks fancier. So. This has been running for three years, the Melbourne International Guitar Night, and it showcases international acts. And it's all focused on, you know, the guitar and what people can, show, showcasing what, what, what's possible on the guitar and celebrating the guitar. So I, I first watched it two years ago at the Toffin Town. It's been running there ever since. When I met the um, organiser, I became friends with him. I would follow what's happening and getting involved with and engaging with them, their events and all that. Because they also do other events that are as big and spectacular. Watching these events really was inspiring and I became good friends with the guy who just decided to ask me because he thought I was good enough to play.
So Nathan's going to be our, our experimental acoustic experience for the evening. He's going to show you what the possibilities are with the acoustic guitar. Um, I would call it atmospheric, um, eclectic. Uh, he's got a cahoon. He's going to give you a full auditory experience here. So I want you to all to put your hands together for Nathan Varga. Thanks, Drew. Um, so I've been actually um, attending the Melbourne Guitar Night for the last two shows um, that Drew has organised with his um, wife, Jenny. And so it's, it's great to be up here today to play on the stage um, here. So let's get started. Uh, this first track is called Blue and Green. It's interesting because when I first started that, I was like really like shaky and nervous and, and all thinking about myself. How I sound, or I mean, others people, other people will judge you. Of course, it's just what people do. But when I smile and enjoy it, like people tend to just, of course, they're not going to care, because you're just doing something that you love, and it's maybe hopefully adding to their day, making it better. Back then I wasn't writing lyrics, it was all music, but it did have a story. Blue and Green, the story of that was really about transformation and also the process we go through to learn something new or try something new, it's really kind of personal. Sometimes you know you can't put things into words, it's more just like how it makes you feel. And a lot of people use music as a like, the therapy, healing kind of thing. For me, yeah, it brings out a better side of me and, then, and I can impart that into someone else through doing music. It's an amazing way to connect with someone else, an audience, a loved one and other musicians too. Because like now I've realised like there's things of course I want to achieve and accomplish in my life, but I don't need to have those things or do those things to be satisfied or fulfilled. Because if I'm doing what I love and I'm really like making a difference through music, those things will eventually happen if I put in the work. I've learned to just like enjoy and try and focus on the music and being immersed in that and what's happening. If it's a performance and playing for people, all these special things that happen. Sometimes, and I've obviously taken things for granted and not been fully there and fully present. So yeah, it's really something I've been working on is to slow down, be patient, enjoy the moment. And then there's times where I forget to. <laughs> so I always try and remind myself when I do go off course. Mm -hmm. 